tackle. The Hawks have learned how to win the big one. Oh, my. They've run the table in the Big Ten and are 11-1 for the first time ever. The guys have polished off Florida in the Outback Bowl. Now they got to call timeout. They wind the clock. Nine seconds to play, and Drew Tate doesn't know that. The game's going to end on this play. He fires downfield. It's caught, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa! Touchdown, Iowa! No time on the clock! I don't believe what I just saw! The Iowa Football Replay Show is brought to you by Mediacom, the exclusive home of the Iowa Football Replay Show. The Eastern Iowa Airport, your ticket to the world. True North. We'll show you the way. Reference audio video, your ticket to home theater. High V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. And Coca-Cola, the official soft drink of the Outback Bowl champions. The Iowa Football Replay Show is also brought to you by Advance Auto Parts. We're ready in advance. Berthel Fisher & Company, worlds of opportunity. Carlos O'Kelly's, the home of Hawk Talk with Coach Kirk Ferentz. University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, changing medicine, changing lives. And U.S. Cellular, the official wireless provider of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Line two. Here come the Tigers of LSU, the defending national champions, 9-2 and two with a six-game win streak. And that's a pretty good roar, but it's nothing like you're about to hear. Hawkeyes led by Kirk Ferentz coming out of the tunnel now. And let's go down to Rob Brooks for today's coin toss. Robbie. LSU and Iowa, here we go. The Hawks are the home team. And it's an end over end short kick taken at the seven. And it's returnable by Bellas. Comes to the near sideline, cuts back. He eludes a couple of tacklers, still on his feet across the 30 to the 32 yard line. And Hinkle to start the game. And Iowa goes with two tight ends. We'll see a lot of this. Max protection for the quarterback, Drew Tate. And his first aerial attempt is in and out of the hands of Eddie Hinkle. Threw it behind him a little bit. LSU with the All-American Spears at left end. Here's the give to Brownlee on a cutback. He's got three, four yards. Fights his way to the 35. Hangs on to the football. A net of four. It'll be third down, six. They go with a three-man rush and the extra defensive back on third down. Third and about six for Tate. Chandler in motion. Out of the gun. Drew's got time. Lobs it over the middle. Has Hinkle. He's at the 35-40. Close to the first down. Crosses the 40. Let's see where they put his knee down. It's a Tate changing the play. His first audible of the afternoon. It's a handoff. And around left end is Marcus Simmons. And he bowls his way for maybe three as he goes around left end, tries to stretch out that LSU defense. Yep. One running back is Aaron Mickens. And Tate again might be calling a dummy audible. He gives to Mickens. And Aaron is slowed down at the point of attack for no gain. Second, third, and long here. They were able to convert a minute ago. See if they do something over the middle. Blitz coming. He gets rid of it in a hurry. Caught! Cross midfield, still going. It's going to be a touchdown, Iowa. Clinton Solomon ran out of an ankle tackle, and the Hawkeyes are on the board. Lightning quick. Beautiful read by Drew Tate. Full blitz, two linebackers, two defensive backs. He saw he had the quick post. Solomon looked for it. He threw it right in there. Six points. Oh, Tate's eyes had to be as big as saucers because you're right. He recognized the blitz right away, and that ball was gone before LSU got across the line of scrimmage. And Clinton Solomon streaks on the post right up the left side hash for six. Slicker tacks on the point after. And with just two and a half minutes gone in the game, the Hawkeyes are on the board. Solomon beat the All-American. Corey Webster on the deep post. Green a wide out and a die is a running back. Now Schlicker's first kick of the day is high, deep, and end over end. And it backs uh, uh, it backs the Adai two yards deep into the end zone. He runs out of trouble, still on his feet, across the 20, tripped up at the 25-yard line. A little bit surprised. I wasn't expecting him to bring it out, Eddie. And now LSU comes out first and 10. The quarterback is senior Marcus Randall. He's got the I formation behind him. They turn and flip and run down from behind is the tailback by Matt Roth. <laughs> One play, one loss. <laughs> one tackle for loss. Allie Broussard has LSU at second and 12. Now they go with two tight ends, and they almost snap it over the quarterback Randall's head. It's a quarterback draw all the way, and he gets uh, perhaps five to the 28-yard line right up the gut he went as they wanted to see what the Hawks would do defensively. Call it third and a long six. 
Here's the snap. That one's right on his numbers. He's back to pass. Good protection over the middle. Caught by Skyler Green. And he's dropped. He had the first down, then ran, ran backwards. Ball on the far side. Hash out of the eye comes LSU. On play action, Randall back to pass. Looks left. Wants his man. Has his man. Wide open near midfield. And spun to the ground there is Dwayne Bowe. Three wideouts for LSU. Out of the gun again is Marcus Randall. He rolls out to his right to avoid pressure. Now stops. Cuts it back. He's going to stay on his feet. Crosses midfield to the 49-yard line. That's too bad because Abdul Hodge had that play sniffed, but he slipped yeah. as he went to cut and go after Randall. And is Dustin Adams. They pitch it back to Broussard. He's dropped in the backfield by a blitzing Chad Greenway. A loss of perhaps four or five. And that's a that little toss sweep they like to run. And Greenway just ran right through where the guard pulled and made the tackle for a six or seven yard loss. They go. Has one running back for blocking protection. He takes a deep drop. Hawks come with a corner blitz. They flush him. Abdul Hodge misses him. He's still running to his left. D Rob misses him. Hodge gets him from behind. And LSU is going to have to punt the ball as the Hawks just stayed with it and stayed with it. Randall's got those big old trunk legs and he's hard to get down. But credit Derek Robinson and Abdul Hodge for winning the race. Chris Jackson, the punter. Standing back at about his own 27 or 8 yard line. LSU showing an audible. Trying to get the Hawks to jump. Here comes the long snap from center. It arrives. Jackson's kick is away. It's a wobbler. Eddie Hinkle says get away from it. It hits. Then Hinkle picks it up at the 18. Crosses the 20. He was waving the safe sign to say to his teammates get away from it. He made a spectacular play on that punt. Looking up into the sun a moment ago. Tate hands off to... Uh, I almost said Sam Brownlee. It's Marcus Simmons. He crashes over left guard and center for two or three. Left side over Pete McMahon. Second down seven. Chandler. The tight end goes in motion. Here comes Iowa. Micken straight ahead running over right guard and tackle. And he protects that football as he comes across the 25 and is thrown back. Let's see where they spot his forward motion. There was a big hole there. Uh, Aaron just couldn't get to it fast enough before it shut down. Out of the gun. Third down and six. Here's Tate. Looking, fires over the middle. It's caught by Malloy or Hinkle, but he's dropped immediately, shy of the first down at the 28. So needs to get off a good one here. He's standing at his own uh, 13, and he'll accept the long snap from Cody Asmus. It's right on his cage. David steps into it and lobs a nice one. Green backing up to his 25, then calls for a fair catch, and he knows Charles Godfrey was bearing down on him. One tight end, actually two tight ends. They send one in motion. And Randall's in under center, turns, hands off to uh, Adai. He sweeps over the left side, but nothing there. Considine sniffed that play. Babineau had him all wrapped up. The only thing Babineau lost there was his helmet. They have a slot receiver to the right as well. Three wideouts. Randall, a three-step drop. Nobody's open. Down he goes. So we've got two tackles for loss. Now a sack for Jonathan Babineau. He and Matt Roth are picking up right where they left off a month ago. Well, I judge, you know, Jonathan Babineau waving to his father, he, which we he, learned he this week. He a kiss to his dad. Randall's in the shotgun. Here comes the snap. He rolls to the wide side of the field, looking downfield, throws on the run, has his man, but way short of a first down. I mean, eight yards short of a first down. Craig Davis took a shot, and out of bounds he went. I can tell you this, Matt Malloy told me earlier this week, he's found some holes in that LSU punt kicking team, and he thinks he can get to one today. Remember him in the Outback Bowl a year ago? Malloy's out there. Here he comes, he and they it. get it! They get it! They block it. The Hawks are on it at the 25-27 yard line. Did you just call that? I like it when you do your homework. Buddy boy, I like it when you do your homework. I don't know if Malloy got it. I don't know if he's the one who got it, but it came from that side. Might have been Jovan Johnson. We'll check and see. Right now, the Hawks have a chance to get some points. They try to run the no. screen, and it's picked off. Tate is picked off at the line of scrimmage by the defensive lineman, and he's still running downfield. Iowa finally gets him on the ground at the 41. What a momentum changer there as the ball was picked off by Melvin Oliver, the defensive end. Back-to-back -back turnovers, one by LSU on the block punt by Iowa, and now the pick on the screen pass attempt. They run a draw, and it's knocked loose. Babineau knocks it loose, <laughs> LSU's on it. But Jonathan Babineau, I think it was Babineau. That's Babineau. Knife through there, and before Randall could work the draw, he's in the backfield, he's in the shotgun, tried to hand off to the running back, Ellie Broussard, and Babineau was there. He almost took the handoff. He floods the right side with three receivers. They send one in motion. It's a four-wide-out set. Randall's looking deep that way. Now he's flushed. He's rolling out to his right. He's got some running room, but it closes in a hurry. Abdul Hodge just makes him disappear.
Chad Greenway gets there first, makes him go outside. Hodge and Greenway shoulder to shoulder. Kirk Ferentz told us yesterday this team is ready to play football. And have they been ready? Here comes a high, towering punt by Jackson. Hinkle calls for a catch, lets it hit, and it goes into the end zone, thankfully. Touchdown pass, Tate to Clinton Solomon. Now the Hawks go with twin tight ends. Tate swings it right, it's picked off, almost picked off again. He swung a pass out to the right side, and you know, which which was it, Penn State, that batted a lot of aerials down. He, he threw that one helmet high again, right over the backside of his offensive lineman. All Holloway and Townsend split wide left. Tate's going to throw. Rolls right, fake the shovel pass. Now he's going to keep it, comes to the near sideline, and gets out of bounds at about the 18-yard line. Elgin will snap in the shotgun. Good. Here comes Spears. He forces Tate to run wide, and it's thrown, picked off. And there's a bad move there by Drew Tate. We talked about him not trying to do too much. He did there, and he, he got picked off again. He did too much. They missed the blitz. Faces LSU first and 10 at the 31 of Iowa. Randall wants it all right away on play action. Fires to the sideline, has his man. Down he goes at the 22-yard uh, line out of the eye. The Tigers with a single tight end. Randall turns and hands off to the second man through. He's got the first down, and he's pinwheeled down at the 18-yard line. That's Joseph Adai of the day. First and 10 at the 18. Here comes that toss sweep again. They get it blocked inside the 10, down to the 9. Uh, runs uh, hard-charging Ali Broussard. It's second down and three after a gain of seven by Broussard as the ball approaches the Hawkeye 10-yard line. Two tight ends, same play. Here comes Broussard. They run him left, and he's knocked down. He actually stumbled forward and then was covered up by Jonathan Babineau, and that'll be the last play of the first quarter. Start is out of there. Here we go. On third and five, Randall wants to throw. Protection's good. Goes left. It's incomplete. Deflected at the line of scrimmage. Might have been Roth. Might have been Derek Robinson. But that thing was a wounded <laughs> quail as it found the ground, and Randall... Has a pass yep. knocked away. LSU will have to go for Randall, three. It was Roth that got his mid up in the air and okay, knocked it down. So it was Roth who got the deflection. It's Jackson to try from 20 yards plus the 10 of the end zone. It's a 30-yard attempt, and the kick is up and through. He sidewinds it through. Iowa and LSU both on the board now. It's 7-3 Hawkeyes. Jackson will kick off. He does all the place kicking, kickoffs, punts. And field goals. And he just knocked one through from 30. Here's a line drive sidewinder that hits Damian Sims in the helmet. Get down, guys. Down it. Okay, he finds it. He and Walner Bellis had hit him in the helmet. That sidewinder, tough to handle. Let's see if Drew has settled down a little bit more now. Hawks try to run it on first down. Simmons runs into a blitzing safety, Laron Landry. And he's been the early defensive star for the Tigers. Tate is in the gun. Hawks go with three wideouts on second and call it a long eight. Tate. Fires right side. Oh, and he had Malloy open. He just put a little bit too much mustard. And we're going to get him. a holding call against him. All right, it's going to be on Daniels, the yep. corner. No question about it. He had a hold of him around the waist. Malloy off the penalty. Tate in under center on play action. Blitz coming, and down he goes. He fumbles the ball, and the Hawks get on it. 23-yard line for Drew and the Hawkeyes. Second down and 20. After the big sack by Hollis, the linebacker on play action. Tate rolls out to his left. Has good protection. Nobody to throw to. Now he steps up in the pocket and overshoots Matt Malloy. He had him open on a comebacker. Kirsten Pittman is a cat quick defensive end. And they got him blocked. Here comes LSU again. Drew Tate is going to be down again. Back at the 14-yard line. Wow. Yeah, that's just a straight rush. That is no blitz. And back to receive it is Scott or Green. Here comes the big rush. Bradley steps into it and gets it away. It's returnable. Low line drive at midfield. Green runs away from two Hawks. Heads for the far sideline, cut back, and he's knocked down by Chad Greenway. Heck of a play by Greenway. Randall in under center. It's 7-3 Iowa. On play action, Randall back to pass. The protection breaks down just as he lets it go. Fires it downfield, almost picked off by Jovan Johnson. But it's 73 degrees at kickoff out of the shotgun. Second down and 10. Randall's going to run. He avoids one hawk, but can't avoid George Lewis. Tyler Lubke almost had him on the ground, so he ran away from Lubke and ran into George Lewis. Randall at midfield in the gun on third down. The Hawks show blitz. Protection's pretty good. Randall fires left side, and it's caught. Too much time for Dwayne Bowe to get open on a far out pattern, and he caught it down near the Iowa 30. That's a first down. Forced Iowa to punt from its own goal line. So LSU right back in Hawkeye country. Here's the pitch. Here comes uh, Jonathan Babineau chasing the running back. A dive from behind. He turned him back inside. Did Abdul Hodge. 
and then Babineau crashed into him from behind. He and Miguel Merrick came up on a run contained, and what looked like was going to be a pretty good gainer, a loss of four. Second and 14 at the Iowa 35 in a 7-3 Iowa game. Here's a die and a cutback on the draw. He went left, came back to the right, got inside the uh, left guard for about four yards to the 30. Third down, third and a long nine. Randall in the shotgun. Here come the Hawks. Roth is held. Randall gets rid of the ball anyway, and it's incomplete. Down on the goal line. Good coverage down there by Iowa's Considine and Miguel Merrick. Actually, it'll be a 48-yard field goal attempt by Craig Jansen coming from the 38. Here's the snap. The spot is down. The kick is on the way. It's certainly long enough. And it is through. Tucked it inside the right upright. Jackson with back-to-back -back field goals. The Hawkeye defense holds again. Such a quick LSU defensive line. It's starting to pay dividends. Here's that high pop fly again on the kickoff by Jackson. Taken by Bellis at the five. Heads to the center of the field. Turns back upfield. And he's punched down. Boy, LSU with all that athleticism ran right through the Hawkeye wedge there. And Bellis is blasted at the 15 and down he went. Well, the Hawkeye offensive line will have to step it up here. Let's see if they've changed any blocking schemes. Tate runs away to his left, fires to Hinkle, upfield across the 20 to the 22. That's a good-looking first down play. Tate's in the gun. Mickens in the backfield with him. Rolls right. Blitz coming. Finds Solomon, or excuse me, Holloway. Up at the 25. It'll be about a yard shy of a first down. Solomon laid out for that pass. It was Hawks running out of the eye. LSU has got seven Eight, nine men right up there in the tackle box committed to stopping the run. They give it to Sam Brownlee, and he goes nowhere. He's tripped up. Ball is fumbled, but they say he was down. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Nobody blocked anybody there. The offensive line and has got such great speed, even though he had to go around the center, he was still able to run it down. Bradley needs to get rid of it and does. A nice high hanger. And a fair catch called for by Skyler Green. He leads it, bounce, it hits at the 40, rolls all the way down to near the 20-yard line. Hawks get a break there as Iowa sends its defense out of the field now with LSU and quarterback Marcus Randall. LSU football with twin tight ends to start this series. First and 10. Tigers at their own 20. Randall retreats from center. Three-step drop. Goes left side. Has the receiver. Across the 30. And the big guy, 6'3", Bo, lumbers his way up to the 40, dragging Hawkeye tacklers with him. LSU had just 30 yards of offense in the first quarter. We're halfway through the second quarter. Here's Roth going after Randall. And Roth slows him down enough to where the Hawks get there and get him on the ground. Back at the 30. George Lewis, Abdul Hodge. Also chasing him. <laughs> D-Rob and Greenway. All the superstars met at the intersection yes. there. Second down, almost 18. The ball at the 36 of LSU. Hawks are sliding around, jumping around up front at the line of scrimmage. Here comes the screen pass play to Adai, and he's blown up just as the ball arrived. Babineau and Greenway. This is how unbelievable of an athlete Jonathan Babineau is. He gave that initial tuck and push inside, recognized the screen right away, and almost got out there for the intercept. Yeah. Actually, third and 20. He lost two. Definitely no gain, and they just run a simple draw play to Adai, who follows his blockers for the tune of, uh, to the tune of about six yards. That have been nicked and wounded here, as Hayden used to say. Punt coming from Jackson. He's had one stuffed. He gets this one away, and it's a great punt. Backing Hinkle up from his own 25 to the 12. Ed tries to come up the middle of the field, slides through a couple of re, uh, potential block uh, tacklers, and then runs headlong. Third in the Big Ten. The Hawks have it at the 25. Twin tight ends out of the eye. They turn, uh, Tate does, and he gives to Marcus Simmons, and there's just nothing there. That time, uh, Mike Jones got beaten badly uh, on the block attempt, anyway, by Glenn Dorsey, a defensive tackle and a good one. Second down, 10. Hinkle splits wide right. Solomon's in the slot right. Look for Tate to go that way. And back he goes from center. Rolls out to his right. Buys a little time looking downfield. Nothing there, so he runs upfield. Gets out of bounds at the 30-yard line. And the great All-American Marcus Spears. Hawks have a uh, three-receiver set, one running back in the gun. Here comes the rush. Tate gets rid of it on a quick slant. It's caught by Hinkle upfield at the 35-yard line. He fires forward across the 35. And they're the 38, gonna... but they blew the play dead. Yeah, he was back at the 35. He was in the grass of the cornerback. He got a little help uh, from Mike Elgin coming down the field to that means Iowa will have to punt it now again. They got timeout here. Here's he, where you got to be careful of the block. This is where uh, you can expect them trying to come and block it. Skyler Green, one of the best punt returners in the SEC. 
is back to receive the Bradley punt, and he hits a missile again. Back screen all the way back inside the 20 to the 15. He comes up the sideline, and he's tomahawked out of bounds, flying downfield for the Hawks. That was Becker. Bless you, has 2.43 to work with in the first half. First and 10 at the Louisiana State University 20-yard line. Iowa leading 7-6. Well, Iowa doesn't know what defense they're in. They're George Lewis is bouncing around like he doesn't know what's going on. They fake the blitz. Back to pass is Randall. Iowa drops off. Randall can't find anybody open downfield. Now he's going to run with it, and down he goes. Oh, he takes a tremendous shot from Abdul Hodge, and Randall is not sure what state he's in, <laughs> let alone what stadium right now. He took a dynamite hit from Abdul Hodge after Babineau chased him around. Yeah, I don't think this ball will go in the air. This is going to be some kind of a run now. You're right. They give it to Broussard. He gets to the outside and then bowls over Sean Considine, but Considine gets him on the ground as they lost two on first down, but they get eight there. This is where they've gone to the big 6-3 kid, Bo. He splits wide right. Green's in the slot right. Look for something that way to the wide side of the field. Randall in the gun. He looks left, fires that way, but threw it low into the ground. And whether or not it's uh, a completed pass doesn't matter because it's two yards shy of a first down. Jackson will punt. He's had one block today. LSU in full protection. They, oh, they get yeah. another one. This time it's Miguel Merrick. Pick it up, Hawks. Get in the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown, Iowa. Sean Katzadine with the recovery. Miguel Merrick with the block right up the gut. Gary, and let me tell you, LSU was in full protection. They didn't even have anybody split out. They had all their white people in to give full protection, and the Hawks found a way to block it. Because they paved the way for Americ stuff, and the Hawks get on it. Considine for the touchdown. Here's the point after trying. It's right through. What a big play with a minute four to go in the uh, first half. And how big is it to have a timeout left? Had some neck surgery in the offseason his last year in high school, and just for him to be playing football is amazing. And here they are in the Capital One Bowl. Here comes Schlicker's run up. Now this one's a pooch kick, a high end over end, or taken by a die at the 10. 15, 20, right up the middle, and down he goes at the 25-yard line. And George Lewis right there. They said, go on in there, George. Bergen is downfield again. Either way, LSU has it at the 25-yard line, first and 10. And we have a new quarterback in there. Here's a handoff to Allie Broussard. He's running Get for it. his life, cuts back to the middle. Look out. Look out. Don't he do may that. go all the way. He is going to go all the way. A flag, flag is thrown at the 10 yard line or a backup hill at the 30. And let's hope it's against LSU. Otherwise, it's a 75 yard touchdown run on a broken play, really. He was running to the short side of the field. Yeah, Chris Doyle is saying there's a flag over here. I think Randall might be still a little bit stunned from that shot he took from Hodge. Well, he's in the game now. And he's back in the shotgun. He rolls out to his right. They look for the two-pointer, and it's caught. We have a flag. Might be pushing might off. Be pushing off on Bo, Dwayne Bo. Be, well, I don't know. It doesn't look like there's much contact. Let's see what the call is. That's interference. It is on Bo. So the two-point conversion for the moment is stymied. Interesting to see him come in at the end of the quarter. Well, here comes the 40-yard point extra point try it. and it's no good he hooked it wide left so the Hawks gain a little momentum back after that weird run of events there Bo gets called for offensive pass interference in the end zone and we still got 38 seconds to burn here till halftime and they pop fly it way short on the kick running under to Sims at the 20 and he falls down at the 23 yard line well he had running room and he just stumbled to the ground so the Hawks will Get it first and ten. Like that. But what interesting, uh, Tate takes a knee. Interestingly enough, LSU has come from behind four times this year in the second half and late in games to win. So the Tigers know a little something about coming from behind to win as well. There you have it, the end of the first half, and the Hawks are on top 14 to 12. <laughs> Been playing really well here so far uh, this afternoon, both uh, in blocking punts, but also on kick coverage. Here's Schlicker's uh, angling end over end kick taken at the two by a die. Comes up behind the block of Green, and he's knifed down across the 15 by Tyler Bergen. Tyler Bergen, the outside left gunner, came firing downfield and made the tackle as he ankle tied uh, a die on the return. And there it is, Marcus Randall. He's got one running back, and that's Broussard, who had the touchdown to end the first half. Three wide outs to the left side. Here comes Broussard. He runs the, uh, to the right. Boy, Matt Roth came in there, just about had Randall before he could 
hand the ball gonna, off and you got a couple gonna, yards. Yeah, they're going to, I guess, call um, Roth out, uh, offside. Pulling the comeback, though, this year as well. They won four games by nine points coming from behind. Here's the handoff. They only lost to Auburn 10-9. to nine. Handoff goes to a die, and he gouges forward on first and five for maybe a yard. Tigers send receiver Craig Davis wide left. Bo wide to the right. He comes in motion. Stops right behind the tight end. Here's the turn and the give to a die, and he goes nowhere. Maybe another yard. Tyler Lubke yeah, I think he's, swam I think around his blocker. I think they lost yards on that play. It's good. The ball at the 27 of LSU. They go with twin tight ends, so this is a power package. They're going to run for it. They hand off to a die. He stood up at the line of scrimmage, then thrown back as he bounced off that pack, fought forward for maybe a yard, and three wideouts for the Hawks. Broussard, the lone running back. Randall retreats from center, flies the ball left, has his man Skyler Green, and up the near sideline in front of the Iowa bench he comes as uh, George Lewis got enough of him to force him out of bounds, but a big gainer on first down across the 30. Green comes left. Wide to the right is Dwayne Bow. Out of the eye formation is LSU. Randall on play action. Fakes the handoff on second and short and has Bow wide open at midfield. He's tackled by a couple of Hawkeyes there, but Jovan Johnson giving ground, and they cross the Hawkeye defense up there. He got help from George Lewis, but that's a gain of 13 and a first down to midfield. Actually, more than that, they spot his forward motion at the Iowa 48. That time, he had all kinds of time to throw the football. Here's Randall again on play action, straight back in the pocket. Good protection, fires upfield, picked off by Jovan Johnson. He's got the pick across the 35, back up to the 38-yard line. It was a comeback attempt, a down and comebacker. The pass intended for Craig Davis, and Jovan Johnson, playing that deep cushion, got a head start downfield, and the ball woefully underthrown. Well, that's kind of silly because Jovan Don Johnson's been playing so deep. Third turnover by the Hawkeyes today, special teams and defense. Here's, here's Tate, his first crack of the uh, second half. Tate rolling out right and rolling away from Marcus Spears. Makes the catch. It makes the completion, I should say, to Ed Henkel on a big gainer on first down. Tate out there running, trying to run away from the All-American defensive end. Spears and Spears showing great speed. Tate, looking at those linemen jumping around, alternates the play. He audibles, turns, hands off to Simmons. Ooh, he bobbled the handoff and then goes down uh, under a heap of white jerseys. Hawks face second and long, second and 15. Tate's in the gun. Good protection. Now he rolls. He fires on the run, has his man. That's Hinkle up the near sideline, out of bounds at the LSU 30. He took a shot from Landry, the safety, but he's going to have to hit him a lot harder to rattle Ed Hinkle. Oh, that's incredible, too, for Tate to find him. Just a four-man rush, and, and LSU is just getting unbelievable pressure. But this Claude Roten has been wrecking havoc on the Hawkeye offensive line. Blitz coming. Tate gets rid of it on first down and under through Tony Jackson. Tate saw the blitz coming from the left. Second down and 10 at the LSU 30. Tate rolls out left, has Mickens to block for him. Fires on the run. Caught by Hinkle again. Eddie Hinkle with a spectacular grab at the 17. He jumped so high, the defensive back first met his feet with his shoulder pads, and Hinkle got turned topsy-turvy. Man, does he have that upper body on a swivel. Drew Tate finds Hinkle for 14 more. Here's Tate rolling out right. First and 10 at the LSU 16. Goes to Hinkle again. He's out of bounds at the 9. Eddie Hinkle and Drew Tate now kind of nipping and picking at that LSU secondary. It's first and goal, Iowa. Second and three. The Hawks need to keep this drive alive for six. Jackson, the tight end, goes in motion. Tate's going to throw again on the quick slant to Solomon. Knocked away. Good coverage by the All-American Corey Webster. Solomon's got to come back and get that ball. Third down and three at the nine. Showing blitz. They're coming. Here's Tate trying to go around the right end. He's got the first down. Then is drilled as he gets inside the five. Out of bounds at the four. Again, he wanted to do the pitch. The shovel pass. Uh, Drew comes out of his helmet. It may have gotten turned around. He's doing a little uh, body adhesive work on that <laughs> helmet down there. Every time he sees Tate do that, twin tight ends. The Hawkeyes try to power bullet into the end zone here. First and goal at the LSU three. Babineau in at the H-back, goes in motion. Tate rolls out to his right. Looking, looking, lobs it into the back of the end zone. Incomplete, intended for Tommy Bush, who stumbled to the back line of the end zone, but the ball was well overthrown. Yeah. That was kind of a half throwaway. Tate has been masterful on this drive. Second down and goal. Out of the shotgun, three wide outs. Here comes the throw to the end zone. Oh, almost picked off, intended for Scott Chandler. I, uh, I don't know if Chandler ran the pattern wrong or what, but it was well thrown behind um, thrown behind him big time and almost into the grasp of LaRon Landry. What? To the right is Solomon. 
Mickens in there for blocking purposes. Tate straight back. Now he's flushed. Fires into the end zone. It is incomplete intended for uh, Clinton Solomon in the back of the end zone right underneath the goal post. Drew found him a little bit too late. Good coverage by LSU. There's your lack of a running game or a consistent running game that has stymied Iowa's offense a lot this year. Now the try for the three points out of the hole to Bradley. Schlicker has plenty of leg into it as it came from just outside the 10 and it's right through. 20-yard field goal makes it Iowa 17, LSU 12. Kyle Schlicker a 20-yard field goal. And Schlicker runs up on the ensuing kick and drills it right to the goal line. Skyler Green plants underneath it there at the two. Heads for the far sideline, cuts it back. Look out. He's got running room. He's got blockers in front of him. Just Schlicker to beat him. And they finally get him on the ground, but deep in Iowa territory at the 40. Now the ball comes loose. Let's see what uh, they call here. We've got a flag back up field. Face mask yep. back on about the 20. Now the freshman, Flynn, is in at quarterback again for LSU. He turns and hands off to a die, and he squirts over center and left guard down to the 23-yard line. He's gang tackled there. Abdul Hodge, Tyler Lupke. Bo and Green go wide left. Here's Flynn throwing on the quick slant, thrown behind the intended receiver, although it was a catchable ball, and Jovan Johnson. Trying to confuse the young Matt Flynn. He's back to pass. Roth is coming. He gets rid of it. And it is incomplete. Thrown behind Skyler Green, who was mauled by Miguel Merrick as the ball arrived. And it's going to be fourth down and seven. Great play by Merrick. He was right there as the ball got there. That was enough for the first down, but he was able to knock it loose. And it's a 40-yard try on the way the Hawks are blocking kicks today. Maybe they got one more in them. Here comes the try. Now they run the fake. Flynn. Tries to run for the first down, and let's see, did he get it? Oh, the it's going to be close. The Hawks say they've got him stopped uh, on that uh, try for third, uh, for first down. Well, Jonathan Babineau said it's it, we got the ball. I'm going to believe Jonathan Babineau. Jonathan doesn't fib normally. No. <laughs> let's see. It is no. They did not get the first down. The Hawks take over on downs. Iowa trying to adjust their blocking schemes to slow down this relentless LSU pass rush. Here comes a blitz. They uh, recognize it. Hand, quick handoff to Marcus Simmons. Gets them almost five to the 22. That's all they need. They picked up the blitz nicely, and Simmons ran up the gut for five. Second down six. Just across the 20 as Elgin snaps to Tate. Here comes a blitz again by Hollis, so Tate gets rid of it to Solomon. Solomon crosses the 35, and he's up to near the first down at the 36-37 yard line. In the grasp of the cornerback Daniels, and Daniels trying to peel the ball away. Solomon held on to it. They got Tony Jackson over there with Pete McMahon almost every snap. Tate with good time to throw. Fires caught by Solomon after he juggled it once. Caught it at the 35. A spectacular grab by Clinton Solomon. So from the 28 to the 35, the Hawks net seven on that quick slant on first down. In a hard-hitting game dominated by defense and special teams. Hand off to Simmons. He's got the first down. Across the 40 to the 41. Hawks starting to uh, punch some holes now on that LSU defensive front. It's first and 10 Iowa. At the 40, on play action, blitz coming, Tate throws it into the ground. He threw it at the feet of Tony Jackson. And now a late flag comes. A late flag comes, and he threw the ball right at the feet of Tony Jackson. They're going to call it grounding because it's uncatchable. Splits James Townsend wide left with all that blazing speed. Tate back to pass. Flags fly. Tate reverses field. Runs back to his left. Now he's going to run up the field. And down he goes at the 38-yard line. Well, but they did uh, it's not probably stop coming back. That play unless it's an illegal formation. Ooh. Dorsey, uh, yeah, he limped off. So Dorsey, the defensive tackle, is out of there. Here, out of the gun is Drew Tate rolling to his right. Pete McMahon and Chandler blocking on uh, Marcus Spears. A sideline pass to Ed Hinkle, and he's cut down as soon as the ball arrived. Aggressive and courageous Drew Tate gets here. Now they run the simple draw handoff to Mickens, and he gets almost 10 yards. Up to the 39. Good call. Here yep. you think in field position. Absolutely. Now Bradley, who averaged 48 and a half yards, punting the ball in the first half, gets into another driven punt. Skyler back pedals. Skyler Green back pedals to his six. Heads to the near sideline of the Hawkeyes. Crosses the 20, and he's wrestled down by Greenway again. Chad Greenway and Cody Asmus get him on the ground at the 23-yard uh, line. I think that uh, Randall is still a little woozy. Roussard is the tailback. He fakes on the give to him, goes to the right sideline, and has the intended target, Bo, who's wrestled down across the 30. Boy, he gets a real generous spot. Three wideouts for LSU. Looks like a passing play again. Nope, they run the draw to Broussard. Oh, they got it blocked. 
He comes across the 40 to the 43. That was a well-designed play and really well blocked on the Iowa defense. Greenway got there first. Quarter, but now they go with the true freshman, Matt Flynn, out of Texas. Highly recruited coming out of high school. Here's the deep drop handoff to Broussard. And he runs over right guard and tackle for the first down. Across the 45 to the 47. That's a gain of almost five. Left guard now for LSU. First and ten, the ball approaching midfield for the Tigers. Flynn goes back on play action. Looks back to his left after he rolled out right. Now he steps up in the pocket, and he's going to be downed. Oh, that relentless Iowa pass pressure just kept coming and coming and coming, and Babineau and Abdul Hodge arrived there at the same time. Boy, great downfield coverage, too, Eddie. It was, and I think they both missed him once before. Has twin wideouts to the right. They hand off straight ahead running to a die, and he gets three or four. I don't think Nick Saban's going to take a whole lot of chance down here with that young freshman at the uh, throttle at least this series on third down and about 20 Flynn's going to wing it straight back in the pocket he fires up the right side incomplete sailed way over the head of the intended receiver Dwayne Bow, and the Hawkeyes will get the ball back the defense holds again boy they had all a whole bunch of Hawkeyes in the area they're trying to hit Bow. the number 11 and number 12 ranked teams in the country dead even here for the most part today Jackson gets away a wobbler Hinkle says get away from it it takes a bounce. Eddie falls on it or gathers it in off the first bounce, and he's dropped immediately. Excellent downfield coverage by LSU at the 27-yard line. And Sam Brownlee in the backfield, and uh, Tater appears to be changing the play. Hands off to Brownlee. Big hold over right guard and tackle. Brownlee keeps those legs going. And Sam motors across the 35 near the first down at the 38-yard line. Beautiful running, beautiful blocking. That's that zone blocking. Everybody fired out. We've got an extra big old... Um, Offensive lineman in there. I think it's Brandon Washington. Well, we'll see what Tate calls. He hands off to Brownlee, and he turns forward. Let's see if he got He didn't need much. It looks like he has the first down. He will have it. The uh, line judge marks him at the 39-yard uh, line. And Iowa goes with Chandler and Jackson, a twin tight end set. With a minute 20 to go, third period. Tate hands off to Simmons. He rushes through a hole over left guard and center. Then is whacked down with some bumper cars going on out there. He... He ran into it. I mean, he stopped in a hurry. <laughs> he, it looked, that looked like a pretty good hole. I like the way the Hawks are blocking now. So they're making progress here in the third quarter. Now with 32 seconds left to go in the third, time is back in as Tate is in the shotgun on second and long. Second and seven over the middle. He's got Chandler wide open at the 40. Still going. Scott taking two and three. Tigers with him to the 37-yard line. That's a Hawkeye first down. You got to love that because Tate came up, got into the shotgun, and looked to his left the whole way before the ball was snapped. It was like he was telegraphing that he was going to the left, came back to the right, and hit Chandler right down the middle. Ten at the LSU 37. They show corner blitz back off. Tate rolls left, now wants to throw back to his right, now comes back to his left and has Holloway. Holloway squirms out of one tackle. Now he can't quite get away from the defensive back. Picks up almost five yards. Tate looked right, looked left, looked right, came back left and found Holloway. The Hawks trying to at least maneuver into Kyle Schlicker. Three-point territory. Here's Tate rolling to his right. Now hands off and a comebacker. Big gainer inside the 30 to the 28 comes. Uh, is that uh, Aaron Mickens? Aaron I almost said Marcus Simmons, but it is just shy of a first down. He got almost five. I thought he had enough for the first down, did Mickens. So the Hawks try and power their way forward for the first down. Here's Simmons. Got the first down inside the 25. Down to the 24-yard line. That's what a semblance of a running game will do for you. Boy, and I'll tell you what, a great job in there by Bush. The way he got in on the, on the middle linebacker. Travis Daniels finally got him on the ground, but not before he got almost six more. It's first and ten. On play action, Tate gets rid of it. Oh, and just at the kneecaps of Tony Jackson. He couldn't quite reach down and grab it. Tate had to unload it sooner than he wanted to do. Two tight ends for the Hawkeyes. Tate rolls out to his right. Another blitz coming. He comes back to the tight end screen to Chandler. He's at the 20. He's at the 15, 10, 5. Dives for the pylon. He's just short. Out of bounds at the 2. What a great call as Tate picked up the blitz from the strong side. Came back weak side. They had the tight end screen set up beautifully. And a great job of blocking down the field by the Hawkeyes. I know Lee Gray was one of them. I didn't see who else was over there but a terrific job of inviting that rush in and then waiting to the very last second. And then I think it was Mike Jones on down the field. They spot Chandler out of bounds at the four-yard line. Here's Simmons off left tackle. He goes in. Touchdown, Iowa! 
Well, I tell you, Tommy Bush at fullback is just doing a masterful job. He blocked two guys on that play. Count them, two. Look into those, listen to those Hawkeye fans. And now the Hawks look to go up by uh, 12 points, leading 23-12. Here's the spot by Bradley, the kick by Schlicker. Perfect. Hawkeyes 24, LSU 12. Schlicker on the run-up. Let's it go. And it's a high end over end kick. Returnable. Skyler Green at the five. He heads to the middle of the field. Now to the far side of the field. Runs around a couple of Iowa tackles. Tries to turn the corner. And he's forced out of bounds by Tyler Bergen. Jamarcus Russell, the red shirt freshman at quarterback now. The third quarterback try for LSU. And on the first play, he hands off. On the draw to a running back. And the Hawks holding on here, leading 24 12 over LSU. Randall, the big kid, the Dante Culpepper lookalike. Hits Davis on a quick slant to the 34. That'll be about three or four yards shy of the first down. Six foot four redshirt freshman is in the gun. They hand it off to a die. He gets the first down, squirts through a hole, up to the 37, maybe the 38. First and 10 after a gain of four at the 38. Here's the young freshman rolling out to his left, has his receiver bow, and that's going to work for close to 10 more. Second, almost a yard for LSU as they approach midfield. The third of three quarterbacks. Randall hands off to uh, Broussard, and he is stuffed by Greenway. I don't know that he got the first down. And it's going to come down to the forward motion spot. <laughs> Here's Randall in under center. He gives to a die, and a die fights his way forward. Looks like he has the first down. They'll give his forward motion to the 49, but, of course, more precious time escapes That's the clock. Right. They have just gone up 24-12. Scott Chandler was big in that drive. Now LSU's trying to answer out near midfield. Here's the hand. Oh, the fake of the handoff. Randall over the middle. Almost picked off by Sean Considine. They had Skylar Green on a crossing route. Sean sensed it and was right in the middle of the pack and right through his hands. Either way, they're cheering now. Loss of five. Second down 15 for LSU. Down 24-12. Good protection. Randall fires it to the right side. Incomplete. That thing may have been deflected at the line of scrimmage. It's an empty backfield. One running back in the vicinity for blocking. Here's Russell looking to the sideline, has his man, it's caught, oh, and he gets away from the defensive back, and Bo is going to go in for the touchdown. No, he's going to come back to the 32, Gary. Oh, he stepped out of bounds, okay. He's out. He, he was out, yeah, okay. Javon had him out early. Russell now trying to move the team on his second try on play action. He rolls out to his right, now wants to come back to his left. He can run, he throws over the middle, has his man, that's Broussard. Abdul Hodge catches him from behind, but it's close to another first down from the 32 of Iowa. LSU has a great program, as does Iowa, and they're both strong. Who's going to wear down first? Here's Randall St uh, Russell stumbling away from center. Finds a man in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. That's a, a long a slant to the post. Skyler Green beat Jovan Johnson, and the big freshman, Jamarcus Russell, put it right on his hands. It's Iowa 24, LSU 18. Here's the snap, the spot, and the kick is through. So hold the phone. 8.21 to go. In the football game, 5-24-19. Here comes a run-up by Jackson. It's a short, returnable kick. Taken at the 10, just shy of the 10 by Walner Bellis. He heads up the middle of the field, runs into his own guy, then squirts forward across the 20 to the 22-yard line. Downfield for LSU on the hit. Wide to the right is Hinkle. To the left, Matt Malloy in the game. Out of the eye. It's Bush and Simmons in the backfield with Tate. The give is to Marcus Simmons. Straight ahead running over left guard. And he fights his way to just shy of the 25. But the tight end is Tony Jackson. They show safety blitz. And here he comes. Tate gets rid of it quickly, but too quickly. Malloy couldn't catch up with that one on the quick slant. Here's the snap out of the gun. He rolls out to his right. Blitz coming. He gets rid of it and almost picked off. It's deflected and then caught. Caught by Solomon. Solomon. Caught by Solomon. Deflected by an LSU defender. I thought he was going to take it in or get the pick anyway. And he deflected it right to Solomon. A first down up at the 34-yard line. That's a gain of 10. They needed eight. First and 10 at the 34. Here comes Marcus Simmons trying to get to the outside, trying to get the corner turn. He does. 35-40 out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Close to a first down. He'll be a couple of yards shy depending on the spot. 7.04 to go in the game. Iowa 24, LSU 19. Here comes Landry sneaking up on a safety blitz. Tate hands off to Simmons, and he's dropped for a loss back at the 30. Eight or nine yard line. And the Hawkeyes, Tate facing another blitz. They run the counter draw. 
and uh, it's Aaron Mickens for a few yards. It was just trying to get the ball into maneuverable punting room for David Bradley, and he's still at 10 with 5.18 to play in the game. Here comes a snap. It's a good one. Good protection, and Bradley yeah. lobs a high hanger. Green circling under it at the 20. He's going to return it. 25, 30. Well, we talk and about a, you talk about a penalty that wasn't called. I mean, you got people just tackling people out there now. Russell's in the shotgun. Iowa up five. They fake the run on first down. Here's a scoop pass by Skyler Green. He falls down at the 40 on a cutback attempt. In Russell in under center now. Backs away. Five-step drop. Fires at the left side. Has Green again. Right in front of Antoine Allen. That's a first down. Didn't make Nick Saban happy. Here he is. A high snap out of the shotgun. They give it to Broussard, and he's going nowhere. Wrestled down right at the line of scrimmage as they run the quick draw. And Broussard, by Abdul. Yep, it was Hodge of the Capital One Bowl, and Russell's in the shotgun. Jamarcus Russell looks down the middle, now comes back to the left, swings it out of the backfield to Joseph Adai, and he fights upfield for six, seven yards inside the 45. They four. Russell's in the gun. He's got three wideouts he's looking at, two to the wide side of the field. That's where he's looking. Good protection over the middle. Caught. And for sure. about three yards, but just shy. Two tight ends for the Tigers. Out of the eye. Here's Russell. They give it to Broussard. He gets to the outside. Oh, and he runs away from a tackle. He's got the first down inside the 35 to the 31. Miguel Merrick missed him at the line of scrimmage. He had enough for the first down anyway. Hawkeyes need to get a takeaway here on play action. Russell wants to throw. He avoids one tackler, throws it to the sideline, and it's caught at the 15 by Bo, but there's a flag back upfield. Can you believe that? Somebody ran by and almost knocked the ball out of his hand. Yes, and indeed. Somehow he got it off. Let's check out the flag. LSU is clapping. Offside. Defense. Iowa has to come up with some kind of a stop. They fake the draw. Russell with good protection. Now he's forced to his right. Throws into the end zone on the run. It is caught, oh, yeah. but it's oh, out of bounds. LSU continues with that stack set. Two tight end formation inside. Russell back to pass. Protection's good. Ross giving chase. Russell's going to run. He's tripped up at the 14 and falls forward to the 11. Matt Roth saved an even bigger yep, game there. That's Roth just wow. selling out. Matt selling Roth out to get to him. Gets him on the ground with a minute to go in the game. Here we go. Third down and almost six. No timeouts. Russell straight back in the pocket. Throws it over the middle. It's caught, but uh, not for six. It's caught at the five-yard line. First and goal it is, and he does. Russell just... Pounds the ball into the ground. So it's second and goal. LSU. Outside. Two, I would think. two receivers left. Skyler Green to the right. One running back a die in the backfield with Russell. Here's the snap. They fake the draw. Russell into the end zone. Caught. It is a touchdown. Skyler Green on the post. Jovan Johnson turned him inside. And Jamarcus Russell put it right on his numbers. And LSU will go for two. Here's Russell in the shotgun as they try for two. LSU up 26-25. Roth is held again, but he still gets Russell on the ground. Well, as he goes down, he throws the ball out of bounds, though it doesn't matter. Matt Roth ending his career the way he started it with a sack. Here comes the run-up by Craig Jackson, and it's a high end-over-end kick. Good kick. Max Bellis up to the four. He starts back upfield the near hash mark. Across the 20-25. Jitterbugs his way across the 25 to the 28. Good Close return. to the 30. Excellent return. And three wide outs for the Hawkeyes, including Chandler, the tight end. Tate back to pass. Throws over the middle. It's caught at the 40-yard line by That's Eddie Hinkle. Hinkle. Stops That's, the clock. That's 10. That should be enough for a first down, so they'll stop the clock. Taking the underneath stuff until LSU commits more to covering that. 33 seconds left to go in the game. Here's Tate. They wind the clock. Drew's got to go. 30 seconds to play. Tate wants to throw left. Comes over the middle instead. Got and him. Is it a catch? Yep. Sure looks like it. Got it's midfield, but it's not now a first down. Time out here. Got to call a timeout. Got to call a timeout here. Got to call a timeout, Drew. 15 seconds to go. Now he spikes the ball. Oh, they they cost themselves five yeah, or six we seconds. Set. Now they got to call timeout. They wind the clock. Nine seconds to play, and Drew Tate doesn't know that. The game's going to end on this play. He fires downfield. It's caught. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown, Iowa. No time on the clock. I don't believe what I just saw. Touchdown, Iowa. Oh, my God. I 
can't believe what I just saw. <laughs> was it Solomon? That was, no. Or it Holloway. Was a, that was Holloway. Warren Holloway. 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 The it forgotten Holloway. man. <laughs> the forgotten man. Drew Tate oh. tried to hand the game <laughs> to LSU. He wouldn't call timeout. He didn't know the clock had restarted. And he just fired a touchdown Look pass. Oh, was just Of 60 yards. Unbelievable. Oh man, I've got to see that on replay because we were we were so worried it was the last play of the game at LSU. Look at Bob Brooks is even sprinting <laughs> down the middle of the field. Bob Brooks, 79-year-old Bob Brooks is on the dead run. He's, he's, he's snake dancing down there. He's down there snake dancing. Oh my goodness. I, we think it was Warren Holloway. Here it, comes. it was Warren Holloway. Here they, we go. they cheated to the outside to Solomon. And Holloway runs right by the safety. Runs right by the safety. I didn't think he was going to get in. I thought he was going to get tackled at the it? 10. And he goes in. How did Drew Tate find it? One of 15 seniors. One of 15 seniors <laughs> seldom used from Homewood Floss in Chicago. Unbelievable, oh incredible. I cannot describe what we just saw. But we're going to take the better part of two hours <laughs> to do it. Drew Tate's magical season has ended oh, in Oz. There's Bob Bowlesby down on the field, giving him a big hug. Oh, we just went to the land of Oz.